Today we're going to create a mask effect using Adobe Animate. So we're going to start by creating a new HTML5 canvas. I'm going to start off by loading an image onto my stage. There's a few ways you could do that. You can copy and paste one. Possibly the most straightforward way is to go to File, Import to Stage. Finding where you save the image and then selecting it to open it on your screen. If your image is different than the size of your stage, part of it will be cut off by this bounding box line here at the bottom. If you want the whole thing to show up, you can resize it to be the same size as your stage, but it's possible that it will not scale correctly to fit on your stage. So if I decrease the height, either my width would be smaller than the width of my stage, or it would be stretched. So if I change that, you'll see that everything gets compressed. So I'm just going to leave it like this and have part of it get cut off. I'm going to change my layer to background. Then I'm going to lock that layer and create a new one right above it. On that layer, I'm going to create a shape. Doesn't matter what shape. I'm going to turn off the outline and just have the fill. I'm going to change my shape into a star, but you can use whatever shape you would like. So I'm going to create a motion tween on my star. If this is the first time you've done this, you can check the box and click OK, and that will automatically convert your object into a symbol named symbol 1 whenever you put a motion tween on it. I'm going to change this out to about 60, which is two and a half seconds. I'm going to have it move across the screen, go slightly in an arc. I'm going to click on my motion tween so that I can change my rotation. We'll make it one rotation. So when I run it, it looks like that. Also going to use my free transform tool and hold shift to proportionally resize my star, make sure that it still fits on my screen. And then I need my background to be the same length as my motion tween, so I insert the frame there. And then if I right click on the top layer and add a mask, then my shape will become a hole to the background layer. So only where the shape is, is where we'll be able to see it. So if I were to preview this in my browser, it would look like this. Then once you're finished, you'll want to save and turn this into the website. So file, save as, we'll name this one mask, hit save. Go to our publish settings, make sure that that is in the right spot. Then our website animate folder, so that's good. We'll hit save and then publish creates our files. Hit OK and go over to Dreamweaver. Open up your animate index file. Refresh your file list if you need to. Take over your mask.html and put that at the bottom. Save all your files that are open and I'm going to upload my animate folder and then I can check the website to make sure it's there. Go to the class period, click on the student's name, the animate folder, and then test our assignment. 